Okay, folks, quick uh, vid on how to use this tool. There it is. It's a remake of my old tool. Refined and loads more functionality in it from one simple key. You can assign any key you want. I just use F1. It's handy for me. How to install it. Dump it into your scripts. Go to your form editor. And type in quick. And there it is. Assign the key, whatever key you want. Okay, what does it do? It's self explanatory, run script, clean mesh, snapping uh, menu. I've decided to put it here as well. You know, this is everywhere throughout M Modo, but it's uh, it's just handy. If you're working on really deep, detailed models, and you want to change something in the snapping <coughs> department, it's just handy if, you str if you've got it straight here in front of you. You can't keep moving your mouse over there, but I like it that way. And the script uh, itself, you can remove things and add things. It's up to you. It's very simple. Dimensions, of course. This is a power of two. Which does not need to be. I've got a power of two fetish. <laughs> uh, if you go to your preferences. Units. That's my power of two units. You can go to metric, meters, centimeters, and change your fix increment to whatever you want. So if you want to go to 10 centimeters, you can. And of course you can change that uh, directly from your snapping uh, menu okie dokie so I'm just going to stick it back to my own preferences I use uh, power of 2 all the time, game units this works for me uh, 256, whatever <coughs> okay, the grid no, I'll work through them out. Just dimensions, uh, vert's not on. It's very handy if you're moving things, setting pivots. To snap the vert, as you can see. It's effortless. And you turn it off, of course. As you can see. Center all. And this is a nice little script, Grind Mesh, from Elaz. Elaz. The script master. Modo script master. Okay, you've got to select vert. So if you've got different uh, objects here, you can just select them all and grind them all. Grind Mesh done. Um. Hide, rest, unhide. Okay, this is very handy. I'll just make a few more. So you've got different meshes in your scene. And you want to do a bake of one part. Or you want to just work on one part and get rid of the rest. Select it. Hide rest, done. And I think this should work with layers, let's see. Um, I 
I want to work in this. Yep, yeah, there you go. So if you've got your layout selected, it'll work as well. And what's next? Uh, it's hide, unhide. And uh, now the fun part. Baking. I've been doing loads of um, baking tests recently, and it is a freaking arse. Really an ass. Continuously going into the shading tree and changing everything. Honestly, it just bored, bored the tears out of me, so I decided to do something about it. <coughs> I'm going to change that grid. Uh, you can see the grid tools. Lock. XZ, XY, reset. Align to selection. Also works in the X, Y, and X, Z, uh, reset, unlock. I like to keep it locked, depending what uh, I'm working on. Okay, on to the baking. We'll go to the shader. Pick map, big type, bake map size, and padding all in one button. Wonderful. Object space normals, click, done. Sets up uh, remap pixel values, linear, sorted. Map size, oh, I should uh, show you this. You can turn on uh, and off alpha output. If your alpha output is turned off, you won't get any padding on your bake around your UVs. Uh, same goes for color. Color ID map and ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion has uh, you need the alpha turned off or it won't work. Occlusion res we've got to 1024. You can lower that, increase it, up to you. And uh, note on color ID I've turned on anti aliasing. Turned off anti aliasing because this uh, it can cause troubles. It has been causing me troubles in uh, Quixel suit with that on because it blurs the edges and uh, the colors are actually there's no definition between the two or it blends the two. Ayo, and back to Moto again. So you pick your I want to do an object space normal big map size whatever you want and your padding in one click so you've set that up go to your render view and bake done simple and your final yeah step before you apart from triangulation of course is to set your pivot and he doesn't want to work. <coughs> so I have to have him selected. And this is handy if you've got vert snap on, because you will actually snap perfectly. To the grid and to your verts. Export done. Word on uh, FBX 2013. You'll get pivot problems if you do not export a selection. If you export all, your pivot won't work. Don't ask me why. It's an arts. Unreal 4s moved to 2014. I hope. Uh, Modo does in the future with some um, less quirky programming that it works a lot better and that's a wrap that's just a quick note on this 
handy little tool. And as I said before, you can remove st stuff. You just go into the form editor and delete, add, remove to your heart's content. Cheers. Bye.